What business could you start as a teenager if you have absolutely no experience and no money to begin with? What's up guys, it's Ryan, and today I want to answer that question by giving you three super easy small businesses that you can start with no experience, no money at any age. All of these business ideas have great potential for growth with a low barrier to entry, so I hope at least one of them inspires you to get out there and start hustling. Without any further ado, the first small business you can start as a teenager is a tutoring business. In 1954, a young second grader named Takashi Kumon came home from school with a failed math test. His father, who was a high school math teacher, was very upset about this and began creating worksheets for Takashi to practice on every day. The worksheets were so effective that by the sixth grade, Takashi was already studying differential and integral calculus. So obviously the demand for these worksheets went through the roof and Takashi's father began selling them and opened his own tutoring business called Kumon. Now that's a story that I found online, so I'm not sure how true it is, but if you're a student, chances are you've heard of Kumon. And it started with just one man and his son, but it's now scaled to over 5,000 employees and 300,000 students learning from the brand. If you didn't drop out of school to become a full-time YouTuber like me, chances are you spend the majority of your weekdays in school surrounded by hundreds of other students. There's probably at least one subject that you have a good enough understanding of that you could teach it to someone else. And you don't have to be an expert in that subject either. I'm in grade 11 and I'm no math whiz, but I know enough of a course like grade 9 math to be able to teach it to someone in grade 9 who's taking that. So there's lots of different approaches you can take with your tutoring business, and even if you don't like the one-on-one -on -one aspect of teaching, you can even do it online. Because maybe you want to be like Mr. Kumon and sell your worksheets at scale, or you could even start a YouTube channel of the subject of your choice and teach people there. And the last great thing about this business is that there's basically no expenses. All it takes is your time, a willingness to teach, and if you expand to become the biggest tutoring company in the world, 5,000 of your friends to hire. Moving on to the second business anyone can start, we have dog walking. Along with lemonade stands, this is probably one of the most OG business models for young people and there's always a demand for it. It's good exercise, you can work outdoors, and if you're an animal lover, that's even better. Since there's no real limit to the number of dogs you can walk at once, the amount of money you make comes down to the clients you have. Even if you're just charging $5 an hour, you can walk 10 dogs at once and suddenly that's $50 you've made. And scaling your business by hiring people shouldn't be a problem because the only real requirements to do this is that you can walk and you're not allergic to dogs. So there shouldn't be any shortage of employees, but how can you find clients? I've said this over and over again in countless videos, but it remains true that the best way to get clients for your small business is through Nextdoor. Go to nextdoor.com and post the ad of your dog walking services and watch the profits roll in. And your profits will be rolling in because another great thing is that your business expenses are so low. Unless you're buying this $300,000 18 karat gold dog leash, it's likely that you'll be able to start this business for absolutely free. So there's a lot of potential with this business model and hopefully for you that can outweigh some of the inevitable hardships. <laughs> Before we get to the small business in the number one spot, I want to give you a quick bonus business. And all I ask in return is that you give me the bonus of growing my channel by smashing the like button if you're enjoying this video. So once you've done that, let's get into this bonus business, which is hanging up Christmas lights. This business model is so unique because for the majority of the year, you have absolutely no demand, but as soon as December hits, everyone is calling you. Especially if you live in a city with a lot of retired people or people who just don't want to hang up their Christmas lights themselves, this can be a huge opportunity. And it's such a surge of demand that some people doing this business model have reported as much as $4,000 in just one week of doing this. And since the demand is so high all at once, I suggest you get some friends and do this business model together. I really missed the boat with this opportunity last year, but I see a lot of potential in this business model. So if you're one of those viewers on my channel who knows me in real life, then expect a call from me in mid to late November. And if you're not, I hope you're looking forward to the video of how it went after it's done. But the reason I included this business model as only a bonus and not part of the official list is because it's seasonal and you can't do it for the majority of the year. With that, let's get to the number one business model you can start at any age with no experience. This one has a very special place in my heart, and if you're a longtime subscriber, you probably saw it coming from the beginning. That is lawn mowing. I started my own lawn mowing business at the end of the last school year and was able to do over $3,000 of profit before the summer ended. It's funny because I actually got the idea from a TikTok, but it turns out that that was one of the best butterfly effect things to ever happen to me. So to get started, I put up an ad on the famous nextdoor.com and here's what that looked like. The ad wasn't really anything special and all it needs to do for you is explain who you are and what you want to do. A mistake I made in this ad is that I didn't include my contact information so people had a hard time reaching out to me. But I still managed to get lots of clients and was able to bring in lots of revenue. And the great thing about that revenue is that it all turned to profit because I had literally zero business expenses the entire summer. Most people who wanted me to mow their lawn let me use their own lawn mower and I was happy to do that. But even if I did want to bring my own equipment, I'm still too young to drive so it wouldn't have made a difference. And to be honest, the first couple weeks in this business was actually a bit of a struggle. There were times that I had to rush through lawns and couldn't give them the quality cut that they needed because I knew that I had to bike across town and get to my other client's house on time. But luckily I wasn't a beginner for long and in less than a month I was comfortable mowing lawns quickly and effectively. So if you're getting into the lawn care business yourself, you might be wondering how good the scale is. And I'll admit that I didn't get to the point where I was able to hire my friends to actually scale this into a business. But if I had wanted to scale this into an actual business, here's what I would have done. The first thing is that I would find more places to advertise. I stuck with Nextdoor and that proved to work well, but I could have gone to places like Facebook and Craigslist and I even could have gone the old fashioned way and hung up signs around town. 
Another way I could have scaled more is by accepting more clients. A lot of the time I had to say no to people because they didn't have their own lawnmower or they were just too far for me to bike. So if I had done some of those things, maybe I would have been able to scale more and hire some of my friends so that I could turn this into an actual business. But the potential is definitely there and that's why I believe that the lawn care business is the number one small business opportunity for teenagers. So I wish you good luck with all your business ventures, leave a comment below of which one you're going to try, thank you so much for watching, I will see you in a future video, peace.